who else did we have here? This is my uncle. And Stella. You did good. I've got a real boat going. You have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for all of us. Mm -hmm. Or for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything, but I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious, sophisticated with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind, far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I'd see something in an alpine flare. See, I can... Uh, even I could be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Okay. I have something to tell you. Stella, I didn't want to disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm convinced my dreams have been visions. And therefore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes keep getting drawn to that specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Hmm, okay. Is that a request for her? Oh, I have enough to build Gwen's Lodge already. Request advanced. Nice. Oh. I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of your of my old condo on Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. I've got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that? I think you need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some of the key, key, key com components. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your uncle to sleep on deck. Right? Nice catch, Sprout. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there. A tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. I already did. Oh, whoa. So when I plant the mystery seeds, it gives me a lot of different things. Okay. That's cool. Let's do turnips times two. And then we'll do carrots. Alright. Citrine, lightning in a bottle, more bright jelly. I don't know how to sing. Oh, did I accidentally wake them up? Oh, sorry guys. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Yeah. How about... Some berries. Oh, well, thank you. I was quite hungry. Stella. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow. No hate. No relief. Nothing. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. <sighs> Bought you three sisters and gave me that damn oversized sweater and had knitted 
that dude, sorry. Gunther is stirring. He's on my left right now. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a, prior, a month prior. Mom was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. And the best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead, feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship, helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. <laughs> You know, that's... It's kind of interesting that she has... That we have our family on the boat. Because if I was going to be... The keeper of... Or the, the guide of souls to the afterlife. It seems like a lonely job, you know? It's kind of a nice touch. For this game. Bedtime! Did you know you can... Did you know if you can catch different fish when it rains? Maybe they like to come up and drink the fresh water that's dripping down? Pretty neat, right? He sounds hungry. Oh! Green Halton Bay discovered. Cool. Well, I don't really have much food that's not purpose. Oh. Hug the cat. The cat's so cute. Let's cook something for for the frog. And in the meantime, I'll do some fishing in the rain. Then we'll go uh, once once we feed. Um, Uncle. Then we'll go on land. This one's fast. Black tiger shrimp. Nice. Can't hurt. I got two grilled fish from one eel. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, where? Oh, here he is. Uh, food. Oh. Delicious. I had a hankering for this. Oh. There seems to be quite a few new faces aboard. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old uncle Atul. You know me. I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, any time. I just didn't think I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be alright. Sorry, I, I even brought it up. Oh, sorry I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of the boat and take in this splendor, you know? Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's not fun. Aren't you a frog? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> uh, oh, right, we gotta get in the dinghy. Let's go! Mm. Hello. Hey. Came here to cut down these trees. Mm. But I've got my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. Mm. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Mm. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot I had to do it.
this music with the, um... I'm trying to remember the name of the instrument. The bum 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 bum. It sounds like, um, fable. Fable music, and I love it. Hey! More tchotchka. Ooh! Four. There we go. Copper. I don't know if copper's any good, but... Oh, I think it's harvesting time. What's going on? Oh, this! <laughs> She's so excited! <laughs> She's fully upright. <laughs> I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here. Following me, always, in this world. Even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain. Doesn't it? The rocks on a back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at them might soothe it? Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Ah. Come on. Uh oh, did that hurt her? Uh oh. This is cool, this is like a Chinese dragon. Or sea serpent. No! Quartz, okay. There we go. I always get so greedy. I hold it as long, way too long. I feel bad for that guy. doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we are ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However I feel... However I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Oh, she's... She's sad. Stella, my stomach is rubbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? I do. I don't want to sound picky, but I've eaten this very recently. Don't you have anything else? Yes, I forgot about that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. No breast milk, nor, nor, nor ova. Certainly, they were meant, not meant for our consumption. And the meat? No, no. I'm sorry. I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Uh, okay, so popcorn it is. Oh, thank you. I was very... <laughs> quite hungry. Aw. She's still sad, though. Let's witness the dragon from her past. Okay, so this is a timed thing. Quick! Oh. 
No, let me out. I mean, I do want to pet the cat, but... No, let me out. All right, there we go. Quick! A lightning storm! Don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. I get a decent amount there's a serious lack of power tools in here maybe that sawmill I was talking about yeah that would work all right dude got to upgrade my ship first please get off the couch I just want to talk to the lady not a fan of this weather Thank you, I was quite hungry. Uh, let's see. Good job. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work, you just have to flow with it. And that's what makes this so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go myself when you don't need it. But don't worry about the materials I'll manage. Yay, she's happy. Oh, wait, no. There are new fields discovered! Alright, let's, um... Let's go on shore. Oh, a visitor! Welcome! Are you here for the world-renowned Furugawa Tours? Of course you are, you're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Sure, perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. The people tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and healthy forests are its main attraction. Moving on. Maybe I can get a tour guide, this tour guide for uh, the boat. Then uh, we'd be able to find more parts in the map, I don't know. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to field local families. Right now, no one is around. I'm not sure why. Sometimes I play in them when I'm off duty. But that's beside the point. Off to our next tour. Dara, stop. Don't get too close. Step off, please. Step off. Back off. All right. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection, a strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that would be great. Should I cut it down? Ah, uh, I'm canceling. They just said they have a connection to the forest, so I won't cut it down yet. 
Ooh. Even though the Everlight's gonna make it grow back, like, quickly. Mm. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around would travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. This concludes our tour. Furagawa Tours is grateful for, for your participation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd, add, if you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines mm -hmm. of 50 glimpses. That's amazing. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming mm -hmm. tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. <laughs> Thank you for your kind spirit. Cool. Wow, berries! Oh. These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. Well, why don't you eat some of them? Oh. Delicious! I had a hankering for this. Oh. I bet I need to shear that sheep. But I don't know how yet. What? Citrine? Nice. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. Okay. That's all they wrote. Alright, who we got? Oops. Stella, I've got to tell you. There's something I'd stumble upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem important. Hey. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been mm -hmm. actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's becoming hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, as, uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. I'll be ready when you are. Should I get traveling now then? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Um. Cool. I don't know if you noticed, but I have been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's... But I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, but really, could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space in the boat? I think it could help me tremendously. And then we could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate, with lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if I had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. Deeply. Villa Magyar? Magyar? Interesting. Here we are. It's curious. I'm both excited and anxious. I'm even starting to have second thoughts. As if... Never mind. Let's go. She wants to go at night time. Old move. I need oak plank and limestone, but I need the sawmill before, because I have oak logs, and I need to make them planks. Okay. Oh. Uh, Gwen is going to sleep then. I guess we go to sleep first. Oh, let's wake everyone up. Good morning, Stella. Yeah. What's in here? Oh, it's locked. Okay. 
Now is are Gwen par Gwen's parents alive? How long has it been since we've been here, Stella? Seems Jerry has been taking good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we've ever had with us. Mom has not been home since fa much since father died. Shit, I'm much more emotional than I thought I could ever be. I love this house so much. As much as I hated it, probably. Look, I don't think I can go in there. Even with you. It's just... No, I can't. Go without me, I'll wait for you here. Here's the key. Oh, and Stella? If you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you're lost, you just have to follow the light. Good, uh, good luck in there. I'll wait for you outside. Oh, can't get up there. Oh. So I'm not allowed to see what's... I thought I'd be able to go inside. Okay, that's a little teeny box room. Loom upgrade, nice. Nope, 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 let's go back out. No! Alright, let's try this side. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Ooh. Everything that the light touches is mine. And also everything the light doesn't touch. Yeah, everything's mine. <laughs> oh no. There you go. Found the box. Could you give it to me? Did I find the box? Oh, I did. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found something else? Oh, I forgot we even had that. It's an old manual for the for a go golden mm -hmm. royale. Remember they had one as first prize in the town's yearly tombola? Don't know what that is. I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual mm -hmm. will come in handy. You can use it as an upgrade for your loom. Mm -hmm. I... Yeah, let's get back to the boat. And forget this place ever existed. Oh. Nope. Mm -hmm. Stella, I... Nah, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Mm -hmm. Or is it? Okay, let's change the subject. You must have noticed the improved tab in your blueprint table. Through there, you can add decorative elements to the mm -hmm. spirit houses and the stations. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've got the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft mm -hmm. fabric from the thread. Go on. Uh, nope, that's build. Let's improve. I need maple planks. So I need the sawmill. Oh. Oh, one last time. What? Mm -hmm. Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the night before father died. Mom was still on the plane and he couldn't mm -hmm. talk to anyone else. He was polite, very articulate. We chatted for an hour or so and he only cried twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar, which was odd for an accountant. He told me father's last words were that he loved me. Mm -hmm. We never talked again. 